receding frame there. He should have been 2-1 down. And uh, goodness knows what we'd have seen from Ronnie. But uh, he looks like now he just wants to get this match done and dusted and uh, regroup for, for round two, really. Will it be a formality then? 3-1 up. They're back at the table. Yeah, I agree totally with Dominic when we came to him in prior the previous frame when he was saying that you just can't turn it on and off like a tap. And I, I agree with him, but maybe Ronnie O'Sullivan's the exception. I mean, he's totally disinterested in the match at the moment, looking at tables around him. But when he gets in the balls and scoring, he gets his concentration back. And I think Dominic's quite right. You can't turn it off like a, on and off like a tap, but at the minute he seems to be doing just that. find out about these pockets now with this shot. All right, if you pop them in the middle, <laughs> never touch the jaws. I can't tell you how hard a shot that is to play at that pace. Never touch the jaw, that amazing. I think he's ready to go home, Ronnie. He's going to try and win the frame at this visit. Eight. Yes, he's on this red, but he wanted a little flick off the red to the left of the cue ball. That's what he played. He wouldn't have had to got the long tackle out. Still in perfect position, though. Nine. And you just know with Ronnie, he'll already be looking... Sixteen. ...at this. We should 17. never say anything really when we talk about one four cents along. It's a bit stupid, really. It's a long way away, but he's one of the few players that looks for it right away from the start. He's just travelled a little bit too far on that red, I think. A little bit surprised he didn't play for the red in the opposite corner because if he finishes low on the red, he brings reds into play, and it obviously he could have got on the black. I mean, that's what he still played the other way round, but playing in the other pocket would have been a little easier. This will tell us whether he's thinking of the one four seven. There's your answer. Point five. Purposely finished extremely low on this red. Now he's got to be a little bit careful the white doesn't push side onto the two. side cushion in playing this run through. This is the problem where the white's going, but he's played it nicely. Search three. Is he going to risk going all the way around the back of the portcullis and trying to get onto the black? He fancies it, but you can tell. It is a natural angle, actually. You can play it plain ball and get onto the black. He's just looking at this girl. He's just looking at me in the commentary box there, thinking, shall I go for the max or not? He's played it. How's the cue ball? How's the cue ball? It's not too bad. Well played. Suppose, in fairness, it's a little bit unfortunate to have left himself slightly hampered. Needed a full ball kiss. He's still OK. He'd have preferred the full ball kiss, though. Little wry smile as he gets down to the shot again. He knows now this is a chance. And look, this magnificent. Cardiff crowd. Look at the little smile he's got on his face now. He fancies it, doesn't he?
56. I can't believe it. He's asking it's how seven. much it is for the max. That's what he's looking at, is how much money it is for the maximum. He's looking up to the commentary box to ask me, and we, we haven't got the notes in front of us, but I'm sure somebody will tell me very shortly, and then I can tell Ronnie. <laughs> Tell Ronnie that it's 10,000 plus 2,000 highest break. He's just had a look at me in the commentary box there, and I've, I've put uh, 10 fingers up to say it's 10,000. Sometimes he doesn't try, 89. sometimes if it's not enough. Yeah, I think he might try this time. He didn't look too impressed when he said it's only 10,000 as well, did he? <laughs> It's amazing he can keep his concentration when it's like this. I mean, he's not even trying at the minute. I mean, the boy is such a genius, he really is. 104. You see, he's not even going for one now. Because it's not, he felt it's not enough money. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Just have a look at the commentary box and smile. Oh, bless him. You have to love him. I've got to be honest, you have to love him. 112. Anything to make us unhappy, Ronnie will do it. There's not been many 146s made in snooker. I think you can count them on one hand, that's for certain. He might not even pot the last black just to be really annoying. 124. Quickly going back to Barry Pinches, he's had a, every chance in this match, but this is the O'Sullivan we love to watch. <laughs> he's got a 146 and still playing exhibition shots. 133. The boy is a genius. Now is he going to play and pot the black? Wouldn't surprise me if he, didn't, if he played a double. The boy undoubtedly is a genius, a magnificent break of 146. Barry pinches it could have been a match that's gone away. Rodeo Silver looked to be in the commentary box with a wry smile. He goes